very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so before we continue analyzing the market for this week i'm very very excited and i'm very happy to share with you our results in the extreme trader forex signals group from yesterday's signals only yesterday on tuesday we have made alone in that day more than 400 pips of profits delivered to our clients in the extreme trader forex signals group now this is really amazing because all of the signals almost all of them have reached the take profit number three and actually today was um, yesterday i mean was amazing not even one signal has reached the stop loss or actually closed in loss 100 percent winning ratio yesterday and before that on monday actually uh, there was small losses here and there of course this is normal still we have managed to close the whole day with more than 100 pips of profits delivered to our clients i mean we are doing amazing and that is really outstanding i mean this is exactly what extreme trader quality is up to and i'm very glad that we have kept our name and reputation with these amazing signals and i really hope that we can do every single day like this this is amazing and i think we are actually approaching our goal to be in the end the best forex signals providers in the world hopefully we can achieve this goal and right now we are aiming it so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there so let's now begin with the midweek analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now first of all i just wanted to apologize for anyone who have lost any amount because of the false analysis on the euro usd uh, from the last uh, video actually I was expecting from the euro usd to continue the fall right after retesting that broken support level but seems like the pair has gained some strength and as we can see this candle has appeared yesterday on the daily chart and therefore we have to go along with the market and what seems right now that the euro usd is going to continue the rise if we go now to the four hour time frame we can see that right here we had this strong key support level this strong key support level is what we are going to depend on to start again buying the pair exactly like this so right now we can see here that the pair actually has made the bullish breakout from that broken support level and right now as we can see it's reversing right on that previous support right here on uh, 1.8750 uh, now it seems like the euro usd is gonna move like this and it's just gonna fall for another 33 pips uh it's gonna hit that previous support level and right from that level here we can start again buying the euro usd in my opinion if we look at the daily chart right now the bullish momentum is stronger and seems like the pair as i said before has gained some strength we can see that here we had this support zone and seems like the market has actually been able not been able sorry to break out of it therefore the target right now is gonna be oh shit the target let me just fix it i just want to make it sure it's, an, it's accurate um exactly like this perfect so right now after this bullish momentum right now the target is going to be right here the peak of the resistance at 1.241 meaning we're going to be aiming about 176 pips of profit but that is on the long run right now what we are going to do actually we are going to just go along with the market and just targeting this resistance right here on 1.19398 meaning we're gonna be aiming about 103 pips only from this signal therefore euro usd is gonna be good for the buy at 1.1 sorry one sorry, I, I i put it by mistake 1.18367 oh my god just fix it make sure it's correct 1.18367 and exactly right here let me just move the safe zone the safe zone of course is going to be ranging inside this support uh, zone right here that's why i don't think the pair is going to be able to break out of that level and this is exactly going to be the safe zone and right here is going to be our target the peak of the resistance right here so we are going to be aiming about as i said before 107 pips of profit now let me clear something here one second 1.19464 now let me clear something here the edge of the safe zone is not a stop loss someone in the comments i know him and he know i'm talking about him he what he's doing actually he's just setting a stop loss exactly at the edge of the safe zone 
and he's just saying that the signal has hit in the stop loss guys the edge of the safe zone is not a stop loss i have mentioned this million times but i think some people still think confused and they are thinking this is the uh, this is a stop loss my analysis de not de doesn't depend on a stop loss what i'm saying here always is the pair might be ranging inside the safe zone and once you see the market has actually exited the safe zone if you see it exiting the, the the safe zone with a strong bearish candle for example if it was a strong bearish candle then you have to close the trade with the loss but it has to close as a bearish candle the market actually might go to, to ex might exceed the the edge of the safe zone and then closes as a bullish pin bar that's why it's just called a safe zone if it's a stop loss i will just mention here that okay the stop loss is going to be 1.17518 okay but it's not a, st a stop loss so please don't be confused and be careful always and if you are planning to, to to invest an amount on this signal please prepare for the losses and for example if you have i, I mentioned this many times if you have if you have for example 500 or five thousand dollars in your account you can invest 100 dollars in this signal and just make sure that the the the, the amount that you can lose your maximum will never exceed a hundred dollars so you can make here the the the, the price when it's one once the market actually gonna reach the edge of the safe zone maybe you will lose about 60 or 70 dollars so you still have some extra amount so maybe the market is going to continue fall down i hope i hope the picture is clear here because i'm actually frustrated uh ex explaining this in every single video so please be careful and be wise and pr prepare for the losses they are possible to happen i mean I, if the market doesn't go on my way, I cannot do anything. I'm not the one who controls the market. I'm not the one who, who, who I'm not the one who to be blamed if the market didn't go on the way I have analyzed it. Anyway, sorry about uh, this long speech. It doesn't make any sense to make it right now. Look at that. For example, the pound USD. Pound USD uh, did not uh, hit any stop loss. It was still in the safe in the safe zone area, and as we can see, the pair has actually been moving inside the safe zone and eventually, right now, running in profit. And as we can see here, not even one one candle has made any break out of the uh, safe zone. So anyway, uh, looking at the pound USD again, the pound USD seems like it's going to continue the fall, uh, depending on the the weakness of the pound at the moment. And what we can expect right now from the pound UST is actually going to continue the fall. Now, the question is, if in case, guys, if in case someone has actually closed this signal in loss or did not enter, enter it uh, earlier, what can they do? Let me just delete the old signal first. And let's analyze the pair together. I mean, right now, we can see that it's very, it's very clear for me that the pound UST is moving in a very strong bearish momentum. And right now, we can see that right here exactly right here at the peak of that resistance the market is not going to be able to break out of that res resistance on 1.38373 we can see that the market actually has made here several attempts to break out of it and right here this is what we call actually a fake breakout once you see this kind of price action when the market actually has made a strong bullish momentum then ranging at the top and immediately strong bearish momentum did I say bullish here? Bullish. I, did I, I, I meant bullish, sorry. If you see the market made a strong bullish momentum, then ranging and immediately strong bearish momentum, that usually indicates uh, a fake breakout from the level. However, most likely it means that must, uh, right now, the euro, sorry, the pound USD might actually be ranging uh, on that previous support level right here. But however, and eventually, the pound USD is actually maybe going to continue the rise right here to make a pullback, retesting that broken res uh, resistance again, and eventually uh, the pound USD is actually going to continue the fall. Right now, I don't see any way that the pound USD is going to continue rising with this strong bearish momentum and the weakness of the pound, as I said before. So right now, what we're going, going to do is aiming to sell the pound USD. Right now, the pound USD seems good for the short at that resistance as I, th as I said before on 1.38373 and exactly right here we are going to start shorting the pound and the edge of the safe zone it has to be actually just a little bit you know till the, the previous support level right here so therefore oh shit man uh, okay yes like that perfect yes this is the edge of the safe zone which, which is actually good uh, because I think it's just 50 pips or less maybe yeah, exactly 50 pips 51 pips and right now actually the target is going to be uh, that lowest level of this this one 
the support level right here most likely this is where the pair is heading to and as we can see it was also previously a strong key resistance level so i really doubt that the pound usd is going to be falling more than that the target definitely guys is going to be this uh, support level right here and we are aiming about 80 pips profit from this trade therefore the take profit level uh, 1.37568 there goes your signal for the pound usd and i really hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits uh, AUD usd AUD usd signal as we can see right now it is ranging at the exact level where i have mentioned that we can start shorting the pair however i want everyone to stop the selling and i think now it's the time to start buying the pound sorry the AUD usd um this momentum right here I think it's better for the for the for the rise if we go to the four hour time frame we can see that the pair actually has made here a strong bullish momentum this this price action usually uh, indicates a continuation in the growth now especially we see it appeared on that previous key support level right here on one, uh, on 0 0.76242 uh, now I know the pair is falling but however this is of course normal if uh, I'm not mistaken this time uh, the AUD USD is falling down to create now a second attempt of the support because this one here is support number one and right now the market is falling down to create the second attempt of the support we are going to depend on this uh, strong support level right here this key strong so uh, this key support level is what I'm depending on to to actually dip, uh, changing my mind about uh, shorting the AUD USD and right now changing for the buy therefore please pay attention to the market pay attention how actually the market is reacting to this level uh, let me just try the, the levels first uh, AUD USD is for the buy uh, 0 0.76242 so what I was saying is please pay attention to the levels and how the market is reacting to this uh, support level because if you see for example the market let me just okay if you see here a strong bearish breakout candle has appeared for example then of course don't buy them don't buy the AUD USD keep the sell or hold the sell order because we are just depending on the price action if the market actually made a strong bearish candle or bearish breakout candle here that means we should not buy the pair only buy if you see the market has reversed and created here a bullish breakout uh, sorry a bullish uh, pin bar uh, candle that means we can still continue buying the pair so guys please be careful and wise about how you are opening these trades i'm just analyzing based on the support and resistance and the condition of the market and of course along with that uh, the price action so sometimes the analysis might not ac be accurate which is again very normal anyway uh if the market is gonna actually start uh reversing right here from the from that previous support level let me go to the daily chart i mean even on the daily chart we can see it's very clear for the buy right now the market has just reversed from that strong support zone and it seems like the bullish momentum right now is stronger most likely if the AUD USD is going to continue the rise it's going to actually hit that uh, strong resistance level on 0 0.77553 actually it can be even higher than that but however for the meantime we are we are aiming about 130 pips profit from this signal that being said the take profit level is going to be 0 0.77543 as i said before please uh, be wise about your trades and uh, don't rush to open that trade immediately once it touches the level uh, always wait for the best moment to start buying and just pay attention to how the market is reacting to that level USD CAD. USD CAD signal is going really very well. It's actually the only one going well. And as you can see right now, the USD CAD is moving in about uh, 60 pips of profit. However, what's going to happen next? If I'm not mistaken, the USD CAD is actually going to continue the rise. Let me delete the old signal. And if in case someone have actually missed entering the USD CAD signal, uh, we can actually start again buying the pair right on the second attempt of the support right here because as we can see here this is a bullish breakout from that resistance level and these two candles representing the attempt number one of the support so there is a chance that the usd cad might fall a little bit more here to create a pullback and also retesting that broken support level and after that is going to continue the rise again 
Of course, this signal is given for those who have actually missed entering the uh, USD CAD signal. Therefore, um, there is nothing else we can do about this. So therefore, USD CAD can actually, you know something? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm on the four hour time frame. Uh, 33 pips. Actually, no, it should be higher than that. Yes, 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 yes. My, my mistake. Sorry. My mistake. Sorry. Exactly right here right here exactly where we can uh, start again buying the usd cat if in case you guys have actually missed entering the signal uh usd cat for the buy at 1.25656 uh, so we have to wait for the pair to fall for another uh i would say about 20 pips or 19 pips before we can start again buying it the edge of the safe zone of course is going to be right here at the bottom level of the support so it's going to be ranging for about 43 pips only which is of course very good Yep, there, there goes your signal for the USD CAD and I really hope it's going to work very well and bring us, uh, continuing to give us more profits. USD GPY. USD GPY did not reverse as I have expected as well and sadly it's going in, uh, so far it's going inside the safe zone. It still it didn't reach any stop loss, it's going inside the safe zone but however we have to change this signal because right now I don't think the pair is going to continue the rise at all after what happened. Right now if we look carefully at the USD GPY, we can see that the pair has actually fallen below that strong resistance level exactly right here. Now, let me just explain something here. This was the strong resistance level. This one here is the strong resistance level. Meanwhile, these two are fake breakouts. Right now, what we can see here that the USD GPY has actually fallen right below that previous resistance level. What does that mean? That means that the USD GPY most likely is actually now going to continue the fall. And if we look at the daily chart, we can see that right here, this, uh, this candle right here representing a support level. And this candle right here represents a breakout candle. Most likely, the USD GPY is going to uh, rise for a few more pips only to hit that previous support level and then going to continue the fall. Uh, aims at least this uh, support level at 108.610. Now, let's go back to the 4-hour time frame. And as we can see, this is exactly the support level I have mentioned. And the USD GPY seems like it's going to rise for another 20 pips before it's going to be valid for the sell. Therefore, USD GPY for the short at 109.956 and the, sa the safe zone is, it has to be ranging just here till the, till the peak of the resistance so for about 51 pips guys i will move now faster with the analysis because i don't want it to take long time so as i said before uh, the target of this uh, trade it has to be this support level right here but however just to be more realistic i'm going to depend on that previous resistance level right here this is the peak of the resistance, uh, which is going to be actually the target this time. So we are aiming exactly 100 pips only from this signal. So therefore, uh, USD, USD GPY, uh, the target for that is going to be uh, 108.957. There goes your signal for the USD GPY. And I really hope it's going to continue to be a good signal and to give us good profits. USD CHF. USD CHF also did not go. Uh, did not went. Uh, did not go. Sorry, in my way. And again, I apologize for any losses happened because of that signal. Now, what's going to happen next with the USD CHF? USD CHF, as, as as we can see right here, it seems like it's reversing right on that previous resistance level, and we can expect from the pair to continue the fall right after retesting that sub, uh, broken resistance level and to continue the fall all the way to hit at least that support level right here. Now again. I just want to make it faster so therefore let me just uh, just uh, write here the the entry for the signal i think we can start actually shorting the usdg chf exactly right here now why right here of course because here we having we are having here the peak of the resistance or actually the peak of the candle this is by the way a, a resistance because we are on the four hour time frame if we go to the 30 minute time frame we can see clearly here it was a previous resistance that being said, we have to wait for the USD CHF to rise for another uh, 20 pips before it's going to be valid for the short. Also, it will be entering the, 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 the zone right here of the resistance, as we can see on the left. So therefore, uh, USD CHF is good for the short. Uh, 0 0.9316 
exactly and the peak of the edge the, the safe zone the edge of the safe zone has to be right here at that previous resistance let me just rise it a little bit, little bit, little bit more exactly it has to be right here for about 47 pips which is of course fair enough exactly like this and the target as i said before is going to be the lowest level of the support so we are aiming about 103 pips profit from this trade so the take profit level uh, 0 0.92266 uh, I really hope uh, this is going to fix uh, the mistake I have done and hopefully this is going to be a good signal and hopefully we will make good profit out of it. Let's now take a look at the gold. So the gold actually is moving in the way I have predicted but however did not reach sadly our buy level but it's actually rising as I have expected before and uh, the direction was correct at least. So anyway what's going to happen next with the gold in my opinion right now let me just delete this one. Right now, the gold seems like it's reversing right on that previous resistance. And so far, the market hasn't been able to break out of the resistance at 1745.53. Uh, However, what's going to happen next with the gold? Actually, the, the fall was not strong enough. And, and from my point of view, the gold is eventually going to be able actually to break out of that level. Now, of course, it all depends on the uh, the weakness of the USD dollar and, and of course, it uh, depends on the strength of the gold right now. Uh, with the strong bullish momentum, I mean, if we check the chart right here, the market actually has made several attempts, uh, sorry, several attempts to break out of that level of the resistance. And let me just tell you something, with so many attempts comes the final breakout. I mean, once, once you see the market actually trying so hard or trying so much to break out of the of a level it doesn't mean at all that the pair is sa uh, safe for shorting it actually means the opposite the market is actually safer for the buying now especially with the strong movement here this is strong bullish momentum here has never appeared on the gold before if we check the history right here on this uh, resistance level we can see that this strong bullish momentum has not appeared on any of these attempts indicates if i'm not mistaken that the gold is actually going to continue the rise and eventually going to be succeeded uh, to exceed to, to actually break out from that resistance level now i don't think this is going to happen this week but however eventually as i said before the gold is actually better for the buy now if we check the daily chart we can see that right here we had this previous support level and here we had a strong support zone most likely the gold actually going to continue the fall just to retest that broken support level and from that point we can start again buying the gold and actually if i'm not mistaken hopefully by this week or at least next week we can see the the final breakout from that long long term resistance on 1745 that being said we actually can start again buying the gold exactly right from right here now, let me just fix it make sure it's accurate exactly right here now someone might tell me but Salah it seems like the gold is actually better for the short because of that resistance level I mean I just have explained that uh, I don't see the gold actually reversing on that resistance and most likely the gold is actually going to continue the rise however please be careful and wise about this trade and just invest an amount and be dedicated for it because most likely the gold is actually going to be ranging on that level I mean we can start again buying the gold right here but as I said before I really doubt if the breakout is going to occur this week but however we can expect from the gold to be ranging right on that level for this week and by the next next week hopefully we can expect the, the market to uh, eventually to actually finally sorry to make the bullish breakout so as I said before expect from the market to be ranging um, on that level because if I'm not mistaken this is exactly what will gonna happen so uh, the edge of the safe zone has to be about for about 100 pips which is actually good for the gold when you are trading the gold 100 pips is actually not, nothing so um buy the gold at 1727.61 and the target if we are lucky enough uh, is going to be the peak of the resistance right here so we are aiming about 
273 pips profit hopefully gonna be a good profit from this uh, gold signal so the take profit level is gonna be 1755.34 as i said before most likely the usage sorry the gold is actually gonna be ranging for this week so uh, expect the breakout to happen by the week after if the market actually makes any uh, changes and if i see a strong bearish momentum right here has appeared and seems like a strong bearish candle then i'm going to make a new deal of the day video telling you to cancel the signal and just heading for the short i will try my best guys to update you on my channel and by the way i'm doing the best i can to help everyone to grow their accounts and make profits and hopefully i can achieve that but however you have to be uh, uh state you have to stay tuned and if you want you can join the free channel on telegram because i'm updating everyone there about the videos i'm uploading and notifying them if any ch any changes happened i'm going to not notify them on that group however in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching